This is the first of a short series of demonstrations in which I'm going to show you how to build this pop-up calendar for Excel. The demonstrations are designed to accompany the tutorial in my website at www.fontstuff.com I'll remind you of that web address at the end of this demo and the purpose of this calendar is just to make it easy for people to enter dates in Excel. You simply call up the calendar, choose a date and it writes the date into a cell. You're not restricted to a single cell. You can select a block of cells. I'm going to right click here and choose insert date from the menu and when I choose a date it writes that date into all the selected cells. I can even make a multiple selection of cells and I'm doing that by holding the control key down whilst I select different cells and this time I'm not going to use the menu but instead a keyboard shortcut to call up the calendar and when I choose the date it writes the date into all those selected cells. Now the calendar and the menu item and the keyboard shortcut are all created in VBA using the Visual Basic Editor which you find on the developer tab of the ribbon and you can choose to build your calendar in a regular workbook which you could save as a template if you like or if you're just going to use the calendar yourself you could save it in your personal macro workbook but if you want to distribute the calendar to other users the safest and easiest way to do that is to create an Excel add-in and that's what I've done here. Let's return to Excel and whilst we're on the developer tab I'll open the add-ins manager and you can see that included is the pop-up calendar which has been installed along with the other add-ins that came with Excel and when the add-in is selected you can see a short description of its functions here at the bottom and you do all that using VBA coding in the Visual Basic Editor. And that concludes this short introduction. In the next part I'll start building the calendar and writing the code and just a reminder of the web address for the tutorial that's www.fontstuff.com and if you go there you'll be able to see not only this tutorial but numerous other tutorials on Excel and Access and VBA programming.